134 degrees Fahrenheit. The record-breaking temperature from 1913 is why I'm here in Death Valley National Park. This place is one of, the, one of the hottest places in the world, really. On any given day in the summer, this is probably the hottest place. Uh, there's a few others in the world that come close, but this place is extremely consistently hot, dry, and low. We're approaching 282 feet below sea level, and this heat can be fatal. Like many of Mother Nature's phenomena, a perfect mix of just the right elements is what creates the region's extreme heat. Death Valley is the lowest point in the United States and surrounded by mountain ranges up to 3,300 meters high. A lack of vegetation, an average rainfall of less than seven centimeters, and what you have is a huge convection oven. The sun beats down and is reflected off the valley floor, heating the air over and over. This is Devil's Golf Course, and it's some of the most diabolical terrain that I have ever seen. This isn't even rock. It's salt. The old lake that used to exist here has completely evaporated, of course, from the intense heat here, leaving nothing but these amazing salt structures behind as the only testimony to the lake's original existence. At least the wind cools you off a little bit, but just a little bit. There are ghost towns like this peppered throughout the region, most of them former mining towns. Now this one, Rhyolite, had a population of 6,000 people back in 1907. Today, it's just me. There's a pretty famous story around Death Valley of a hiker who tried to walk across the salt flats here all the way to the mountains on the other side, over here, and he didn't bring enough water with him. This hiker was woefully unprepared. He wasn't carrying the 32 liters of water he would need to replace what his body was fast burning off in the extreme heat. Halfway into his endeavor, and the emulsion on his videotape was actually melting. The temperature inside his camcorder was over 143 Celsius. When the heat begins to affect you, some of the effects are, are similar to what happens in the cold and hypothermia because you begin to lose your sense of reasoning. You've lost more moisture than what you can replace. Your body is beginning to shut down. And those who experience that extreme begin to go into shock from the heat. And they just no longer realize what's happening to them. After six days combing the salt flats, the search and rescue teams found the hiker. But it was too late. He's in this convection oven laying on salt, wicking all the moisture out. So when they actually recovered the remains, it was basically mummified and the bones were rattling inside. You know, it was, the, all the moisture was gone. 